Today, I'm gonna to show you how to master the pen tool in under eight minutes. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make it with Squarespace. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com, where we make learning fun. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how to master the pen tool. It's an amazing tool that will help you cut out anything in Photoshop. And it specializes in things that have hard edges. If you're cutting out hair, then you wanna use other tools like channels, and we got a great tutorial that'll help you do that. Just look in the description right down below. So why would you wanna use the pen tool? Well, I've got five great reasons for you. Number one, it is the most accurate way to create cutouts in Photoshop. Your pen paths are always editable. So if you make a mistake or wanna change them at any time, no problem. You can save your pen paths. They're stored in the path dialog and you can access them at any time. You can make accurate selections from your paths. And number five, use those selections to cut anything out of its background. So now we know why the pen tool is amazing. Here are a few guidelines to help you out when using the pen tool. Now the pen tool will allow you to create points on your images and then have straight lines or curves join those points together. And the big tip here is to use as few points as possible. So how do you know where to create your points? Well, you wanna make sure to create a point at the beginning and end of a simple curve. Now there are simple curves and complex curves. So a simple curve has a point and then one curve and an end. A complex curve has a change in directions. So you have a point, your curve, and then your change in direction, and then your end. You wanna put them at the beginning and the end of each of the simple curves. So in a complex curve like this, you would put one here, one here, and one here. So you'd have one simple curve going up and another simple curve going back down. Using this technique, you'll be able to cover long distances using just two points, and those curves are going to be very accurate. The next thing you wanna keep an eye out for are continuous curves versus angles. So continuous curves will just keep on going, like a sine wave. An angle will have a curve, and then a point, and then a change in direction that's creating an angle. The pen tool naturally wants to create continuous curves. So this curve will lead into that th curve, and lead into this curve, and just have a really great time. Now, if you want to create an angle, be sure to create a point at the beginning of that angle. You can change direction and then go in another direction. For instance, a heart, you have an angle at the bottom. It would come around here. You have another angle and come back around there. So you'd want to be sure to create points at the beginning of each of those angles. Okay, guys, we got all the theory out of the way. When you're actually using the pen tool, it's pretty simple. Now, there are a couple keyboard shortcuts that are going to make this much easier easier. The first one is Alt or Option, and this is useful when you want to make a point into a curve or a curve into a point. Alt or Option. The next keyboard shortcut is Control or Command, and you can use this to move a point or a curve at any time. This makes paths incredibly useful because they can be edited anytime. So let's take everything we've learned and apply it in Photoshop. We've got a great example for you. There's a picture of a bird. You can actually download this on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. And if you can cut this bird out of its background, you can cut out anything in Photoshop using the pen tool. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go to window and then down to paths to see what we're actually working with here. Now I'm gonna go to my pen tool. There we go. And we're gonna start here on the wing. So we have one simple curve here, right? This is not changing directions. It's just gonna start here and it would end somewhere around there. So I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna click here at the very end and we're just gonna drag out in this direction. And you're gonna see because we have a simple curve, this curve makes up basically the entire wing. Now I need to change my angle. So remember our keyboard shortcut for changing angles is going to be Alt or Option. So let's hold Alt or Option. I'm gonna grab this guy and pull it up in this direction. And that's gonna tell me, hey, why don't you continue up in that direction? So for the next part, we're going up in this direction and then down in this direction. We have a change in curve there. That's a complex curve. And remember, we wanna create points at the end of each simple curve. So it's gonna curve up and then we'll put a point right there. Click and drag out. And there we go. It's gonna curve back in this way. So let's put a point right there and click and drag out in that direction. Now, keep in mind, you can change these at any time. So if you wanna move, 
hold control or command, I'm gonna click here and I can just pull this out to conform to the actual shape of the object. So here we have one simple curve here, and then we have a simple curve, and then a simple curve making up a complex curve. So we have a point at each change of direction. So you're getting the hang of it. Let's go ahead and cut out the rest of the bird. Now we have another shape here, and I'm gonna to continue to click and drag up in this direction. We have little simple curves here. Now, if I wanna account for some feathers up in the very top of the bird, really easy to do as well. I'm gonna click out, hold Alt or Option, drag out in the other direction, and go back here. So you can see, we're just simply creating continuous curves all along the top of the bird. If you wanna be more accurate, all you have to do is just zoom in closer and create a few more points whenever you see a change in direction. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom out here. Now we've got a simple curve here. Again, control or command, and you can move these points at any time. So next we have the round of the beak. So we're gonna go right about there because there's a slight change in angle there. So let's click and drag up in that direction. And then I'm gonna place a point right here. And now you'll notice it kind of goes past the point a little bit, not a big deal. Hold control or command and click and drag and just pull that right back up. So you can edit your pen paths at any time. And we're almost done cutting out our bird. Now we've got, again, a change in direction. So Alt or Option is gonna make that a point. Now again, you can be as accurate as you'd like here. I can zoom in and be super accurate, getting every single feather if I need, or I can just kind of like wing it a little bit. There we go. That looks pretty good. We're gonna click and drag here. We have a little bit of a point here. There we are. And we have a nice simple curve here. We're just gonna click here, take care of that simple curve. Beautiful. Again, we've got another simple curve here. So hold Alt or Option for a change in direction. There we go. Click and drag out here. And I'm gonna hold Control or Command to move this point. There we go. Let's hold Alt or Option because I need to change this angle. Click and drag out there. And there we have it. So we've traced around our entire bird. All right, guys, we're almost done. So now that we've traced our bird, it's time to cut it out from the background. So here in our paths, all I have to do is hold Control or Command and click here on my thumbnail. And it's gonna turn my pen path into a selection. Now, as a selection, I just click on my layer and click on my layer mask icon, and there we go. It loads the selection into a layer mask. We have a perfect layer mask now, cutting the bird out of its background. That's it guys, we are done. The pen tool is one of my favorite tools in Photoshop. Once you master it, you'll find there is no better way to creating accurate shapes in Photoshop. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. We partner with Squarespace to make this tutorial and I really like Squarespace. It's super easy to use. I made my own portfolio website on it. It took like no time at all and I'm like not a super fancy web developer. So if you're interested in checking them out, go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash flurn to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And with that, we've reached the end of our video and to you I say happy pen tooling. <laughs> Thanks guys, I'll see you later. Bye everyone. A complex curve has a start, a curve, and then another curve, and then an end. So the key here, key here, so the key here, uh. Thank you. Bless me.